uh, last Scar- the last Skywalker. <laughs> well, clone him again, I guess. <laughs> we'll just make some more. Palpatine has returned somehow. Oh, they lost that one. Well, clone him a third time, I guess. Again. <laughs> Indiana Jones and the Diarrhea of Density. Dysentery. Oh. <laughs> um, you know what? It's not the worst Indiana Jones movie I've ever seen. Yeah? I would say it's the fourth best of all of them. <laughs> all right. I would say I hate this film more than life itself. I hate everything about this film. It's pretty I, bad. I hate the fact that it exists at all. I hate the fact that it was ever made. But since they were going to go ahead and make it anyway, I hate it. I wish I, I, wish I knew what was I, happening at Lucasfilm. It, it, it didn't occur to me immediately. Crystal Skulls was 15 years ago. Yes. 15 years ago was Crystal Skulls. Which means he was 65, now he's now 80. He's eight. Yeah, that's a big yeah. difference. What happened at at Lucasfilm? Who who was it that first brought up? You know what? We should re revamp this series. Let's do it again. Was it fucking I, Kathleen? Fucking yeah, Kennedy? I say it was Kathleen Kennedy. And the reason why I say that is because she has a tendency to self insert herself if she's allowed to. She made herself Ray. You know the little British girl that gets with Harrison Ford and teaches him all of the shit. And now here she is again. That's Kathleen Kennedy jumping in and helping Harrison Ford with her little British accent doing whatever. I hate it so much. I, you know, <clears throat> here's the thing. We'll get to the synopsis soon enough. Yep, yep, yep. You're right. Helena is just, she's just the worst. <laughs> you went from just, Mutt, who absolutely everybody hated. Right. It was like, you're going to hand the series off to this thing? And they were like, oh, 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 never mind, never mind. To 15 years something later. something way better. To another completely horrible person <laughs> everybody hates this helena is, you're gonna hand it off to her now he's like is this better no why couldn't you just involve short round and hand it off to short round because that at least would have made sense especially since temple of doom chronologically takes place before raiders that's his first ever adventure and they're like well no who's that that kwami kimi guy and I, who's he he's done nothing he just won an Oscar, by the way, so, you know. <laughs> so James Mangold is a very good director. Yes, he is, but he's a really good director of stuff like Logan and these, like, depressing old man. I hate everything. Not this sick. He did Ford versus Ferrari. He's an Academy Award nominee. Okay. Copland. All right. I mean, he's... Uh, a- Copland, I still put with Logan as, like, this much more gritty, hard... I don't know, it's... Walk it's the not, line. It's not Indiana. 310 to Yuma. He is an excellent filmmaker. Yes. Okay. Yes. He is an excellent filmmaker. Mel Brooks is an excellent filmmaker. Yes. <laughs> I wouldn't want Mel Brooks to direct Sense and Sensibility. No. Or Anne of Green Gables. <laughs> He's an excellent filmmaker. I wouldn't want him directing those, right? Yes. Likewise, Tim Burton is a great director. <laughs> I... I don't want Tim Burton doing an X-Men film, right? No, and I don't want Tim Burton doing an Indiana Jones film. Um, even in the stunts. I, I was watching the stunts. I, I think beyond that there was a second section of 90 minutes where I was just looking at my watch, extremely bored for an hour and a half. Uh, it made me think, where the fuck is Marsha Lucas when you need her? Because <laughs> the film was in desperate need of editing. Yes! Even the stunts themselves, I could tell, okay, they're trying really hard to recreate that classic Indiana Jones feel, but it feels like a cheap knockoff. Like, if if I was watching these stunts in, like, the Uncharted series, yeah, it's like, oh, God, what are they just trying to imitate Indiana Jones? This looks awful. I'm like, are they trying to imitate Indiana Jones? This looks awful. Yes. (laughs) If that makes sense. It makes perfect. It does feel like an imitation. You know what it also feels like? It feels like fan fiction. Yeah. Let me, let me explain that one, because a lot of shit that I've seen recently that I tend to complain about, and everybody's like, oh, you're just a hater of the, of the franchise. Like, no, I love this franchise, but this feels like fan fiction, because you begin every fan fiction with, well, 
in my version, <laughs> right, yeah. change. And you always put yourself in there because in my version, Indiana Jones falls in love with me because I'm so awesome. And then I have to help him find all the stuff. And yeah, this is fan fiction. This is how you write it. Yeah, sloppily, including yeah. like the, the CIA is in bed with Nazis <laughs> and this black girl is going to help them because Nazis are... <laughs> Nazis are multicultural now. Like, yeah. let, uh, let us get this black female into our genocidal white supremacist cult. <laughs> death cult and she will help us. And Foxy Cleopatra's like, yeah, sugar, I'll help you. That's right. What the fuck are you doing? Because the Nazis, they were all about inclusivity. <laughs> what the fucking fuck are you doing? <laughs> Isn't he like wanted for murder at one point too? Yeah, for killing those like, college professors I'm like how many people have you killed indy and this one you're wanted for murder now you're wanted for murder in like 17 countries and now you're wanted for murder here well it's so okay at the end of the movie they're just like ah, fuck eh, it. Never, it's fine. it never happened <laughs> <laughs> so it started off as like thinking okay this kind of looks and kind of feels like classic it, indiana jones i it, guess it did except it was dark and it was sloppy sloppy and very cgi'd and I don't know, too long it, it, oh my god! Really so feels so long, like and this so train chase took forever, uh, and then you get bored for an hour and a half. Yeah, and then the last twenty minutes are confusing but entertaining, but confusing. Yeah, I'll, I'll give you that. The last twenty minutes were kind of entertaining. There, there, there were parts that I was like, "Oh, really? All right," and you just kind of go along with it, but then. If you stop and think for half a second, you go, wait a minute, this is stupid. stupid. <laughs> um, there was just no need to reopen this can of worms. There was no need to redo it with crystal skulls. No, there wasn't. And I hate to say it, Crystal Skull felt more like an Indiana Jones movie oh, than this did. I disagree entirely. Yeah? I, space Aliens just... Well, I mean, Space Aliens was wrecked it. just stupid. Wrecked but it. but the, whole, the whole adventure felt... I don't know, more like an indie film. And, and this absolutely did not feel like an Indiana Jones movie. No, not at all. Uh, I, I, let me tell you what I thought was the worst part of this, and this hurts me to say it. I hate the music in this movie. Hmm. I love John Williams. I've been following John Williams' music for a very, very long time. Since we were children. I've got all of his scores and all of his soundtracks. You know, I'm a, I'm a huge, huge fan. But... yeah. This movie, all the music is like these little two-minute bites. There is no epic sweep to this. There is no specific score that is unique to this movie. They're grabbing clips from The Last Crusade for reasons. Hmm. And it really is like John Williams is just phoning it in. Every movie has had an epic score moment. Like the first movie had The Truck Chase. Yeah. And it's like this eight minute long piece of music and it's awesome. And then it finishes, the movie ends with the finale, which is like all the best parts of the movie all clumped together. Temple of Doom had short rounds theme and the really cool finale. The third one had Belly of the Beast when they're fighting on the tank. Even the fourth one had the jungle chase and this piece of music that followed along. And this one Said had nothing. none of that. Again. No big music moment, even though the chase scenes were fucking forever. And no finale. I, again, I wonder if that's not the fault of the editing. Possibly. I wonder if it's the fault of the directing. Not knowing what to do with John Williams. Like I mean, you're handed this nuke and you're like, I, I have no idea how to operate this thing. I mean, the man himself is in his 80s as well. Williams is Williams? something years old. Oh, he's got to be older than that. He, he might be in his 90s. He might frankly. be in his 90s, honestly. Um, and I have to think, he himself is like, guys, why are you fucking... <laughs> yeah, I'll do it, because uh, whatever, but why are you why are you doing this? Because he's a fan, too. He is. is it, yeah. why, 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 are you, <laughs> why are you cheapening it? You've made it cheaper. You had the perfect trilogy, right? Raiders of the Lost Ark, mm -hmm. I will put up... It's one of the most quintessential action-adventure films... Ever fucking made. It defined my Ever childhood and it defined my love of action movies. Like, that Precisely. was the bar. Like, this, this is an action movie. This this is what I want. Even Temple of Doom, 
Mm -hmm. It was not as well received, but again, because you're grading it against the quintessential action adventure movie. Right. If you just watch it on its own, oh, it's It's pretty good. Pretty good good movie. It is a lot better than you remember. And then Last Crusade, suddenly they find a way to top the quintessential fucking action adventure movie. Yes. (laughs) And as Charles points out, literally right off into the sunset. Yes. There was no fucking reason to shit on that for a few extra bucks. And that's all they made. They needed to clear 600 mil. Nine. They need $900 million to break even. To they're, break even. As of today, they're at 170. <laughs> this is a half a billion dollar loss. Yes. Fuck you. I'm glad. You fucking assholes. Yeah, absolutely. I hope this is just like, oh, shit, we'll never touch this again. Good. Leave it alone. I mean, there was talk they were going to do a live action series on Disney Plus starring Helena. No. Haven't you bastardized oh. this? <laughs> oh. Haven't you fucking bastardized this enough? Plus, who would want to watch that? Uh, well, who watched Daphne? Nobody, but they fucking did it. No, Velma. <laughs> no, Velma. <laughs> I mean, I guess we could hate watch Indiana Jones, but that's no. sad. I'm, I'm not hate watching Secret Invasion. No, I can't do it either. Fuck. This... <sighs> I'm not one of those, oh, you shit on my childhood. <laughs> Fuck off. I get it. But you've cheapened the quintessential, beautiful, perfect trilogy. Yeah. One of the most perfect series in all film history. And you've turned it into a fucking joke. It's even, Because you want to report to the shareholders on Disney Day. It's honestly because of this, and Crystal Skull too, but because of these two films, it's actually hard to go back to the original movies and to forget this. Because now I'm watching Raiders of the Lost Ark going, well, I know how this ends. You end up a bitter old man. Your family dies and everything sucks. Your life sucks. The movie ends with him wishing he would he could die. He's like, God, I just want to die. <laughs> and honestly, me too. At the end of that film, I was like, I, I, me, bring me with you. I just want to die at the end of this. In fact, I think I am dead. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Jesus Christ, Charles. I hated this movie, man. I, I hated it. And, and and I hate her. Yeah. What's her name? Uh, Helena something. Helena, well, well, oh, the actress? The actress. Who cares? Oh, good. Who cares? It's, it's like Phoebe Waller-Bridges, right? Phoebe Waller-Bridges. Phoebe Waller-Bridges. Uh, why does everyone think she's attractive? Like, throughout the movie, everybody's like, Oh, Helena, you're so hot. Let me take my shirt off and show you my nipples if you'll show me yours. And, like, everyone falls all over her. <laughs> she's fine. She's not, though. She's like this gangly, scarecrow-looking... Did you watch her run? She runs She's like... fine. She's a generic <laughs> English woman. They're not known for their... <laughs> <laughs> Athleticism. Or face. Or attractiveness. Or teeth. I'll tell you what, though. Seeing Marion at the end, um, Karen Allen, it made me think she's aging really well. Yeah. And damn, as she got older, she got some nice big titties. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I, she looks hotter as she's aging. It's crazy. It happens with some women. The last 10 minutes of the movie, maybe, uh-huh. also just felt like, how much nostalgia can we fit in the last 10 minutes? Like, all of it? Can we just shove it in there as much as we possibly can? Um, I mean, it might not make sense, but let's do it anyway. Uh, I, I guess <sighs> Sala could have been something cool. And instead, it was just, oh, just give him some quick little cameo, because... I hated that. How could you give Sala just a cameo? I mean, his, gi- his job is to drive him to the airport. That's his whole role in this, drives you to the airport. Yeah, apparently. I mean, he's got a really great moment. I mean, John Reese davis is an amazing actor. Yes! And he's got this great moment where he's like, I really wish I could go on one more adventure, you know? One more adventure. And then he's like, yep. Well, bye. <laughs> He's going to see Sala just flip him off as he leaves. <laughs> oh, well, well, fuck you too, Indiana Jones! <laughs> there's, there's a lot that I don't like about this movie. It I, it's, yeah, it makes me sad. This movie made me sad for Indy. <laughs> I, I still thought Crystal Skulls was worse, but maybe only because it sullied it first. Oh, yeah. That's possible. Maybe that's why I hate Crystal Skulls more, because it wrecked the trilogy. 
by this point, it's already been wrecked. And you, and, can't, you can't do more damage to You've already bastardized it. And for me, I hadn't seen Crystal Skull in 15 years no, no, yeah. after I realized that. So after I watched this, I was like, oh my God, was Crystal Skull this bad? And I went back and that's when I, so it was recent. And I went back and watched Crystal Skull and I'm like, huh. I mean, I hate this, but I don't hate it as much as what I just saw. Huh. Leave some comments down below. I want to know what you guys think. Did you watch this movie and did you like it? Why? What about this movie appealed to you? Uh, and of course, if you hated it, you tell us that too, because that's really funny. I, just, I want to know who was responsible for this. Who was responsible? If it's I'm, Kathleen, somebody, somebody, if it's Kathleen Kennedy, she has done enough damage. Oh, she to took his property. She needs to she fuck off. Really, already. like, comes right out and is like, "I'm so proud of this movie that I forced the executives to make. I'm so glad I had a huge hand in this movie." We can tell, Kathleen. We can tell. I mean, can they do like, uh, like an Indiana Jones universe canon and legends? <laughs> like, all right, these last two never really happened. This is canon. These first three, and then, then just from these other ones. We're gonna fix it like the Terminator. Well, I mean. You could. They introduced fucking time travel now. S sort of. Yeah. Sort of. <laughs> Which, as we all know, is a great thing to add. Time travel. I'm told nothing will fuck your plot up as bad as time travel and clones. And a, you, you fucked it now. There's nowhere you can go with it. Uh, and a third one, time travel, clones, and multiverse. Mo okay, yeah. I, I have to throw that third one in there. That's a quick, easy way to fuck up everything. All right, but at least in the multiverse, you can... Keep it linear. You can keep it linear in a multiverse. You can explain, oh, well, in, in this universe, it went, it split off here, and so you have two different storylines. In cloning, oh, fuck. Uh, the, last, uh, the last Skywalker. Well, <laughs> clone him again, I guess. <laughs> Let's make some more. Palpatine has returned somehow. Oh, they lost that one. Well, clone him a third Let's time, I guess. Again. <laughs> oh, we didn't kill Sarah Connor? All right, we'll go five years earlier. Uh, he work. fucked that one up too. Try fuck. Try six weeks before that, maybe. All right, go get uh, go get John wait. Connor's grandmother. <laughs> so Sarah Connor is never fucking born. Jesus Christ. <laughs> okay, we'll do that, sir. I mean, you're, you're handcuffed he now. You fucked like, it. Like you would send the robots back to primordial ooze and just start stomping around. <laughs> but sir, if we do that, humans will never invent robots uh, and they will never be born. <laughs> Well, then I just fucked everything up. <laughs> I don't see any other way out. Uh, yeah, tell us what you thought of this film. I'm I'm done. I, Judging I, by I the box office enough. numbers, nobody fucking saw it. So no. nobody's going to know what to think of it. <laughs> no one saw it. No one cares. It's pure apathy, too. It's not like people hate watched it or went to see it and were horribly disappointed. It just came out and no one cares. And I think that's like the true death of a franchise and the death of a movie you don't care you don't care uh the de-aging technology looked pretty good yeah that was cool it looked like good that. on indian it looked good on uh galen or so make a movie of that oh, no no it's like auto tune in music <laughs> just sparingly when you really have to don't make it a we got your t-shirt and the left finger and now you are so gone you are really gone for real you want a whole movie that's all just like a de age no, CGI? No, no, I don't like, like that. Like a James Cameron and Avatar type thing, but it's just de aged Harrison Ford. He still has to move like an old man because he is, but. <laughs> yeah, so, <laughs> so on the train scene, he's still like, uh. Yeah, he's like, I can But he looks move young, me. but. Uh, <laughs> and he talks with but his But he's doing the stunts like voice. an 80 year old. Like, oh, fuck, it <laughs> Click subscribe. It, yeah, we're It's exactly it. what you thought was going to happen. It is exactly what you think and, and maybe worse. So enjoy that. Yeah.